Fated to be loved by villains, crazed swordsmen, the plan was perfect. No matter how much Ilfent decked out their security, they don't know of players who could treat the supply room like their front yard. Although if you get greedy and take too much, it's very likely that you'll get caught and punished. But even so, taking a few necessary items is essential for progress. It is said that you can navigate through a route even with your eyes closed. And if you can use the point shop like me and have plenty of points to spend, this is the easiest way to break through. Haste potion item. Consumable price. It's, it's speeds up the user's movements within a certain amount of time. Shadow mask equipment. Accessory price. This hides the wearer's face and modulates the voice. Catwalk shoes equipment. Shows price. This eliminates noise in footsteps. Taking the potion allowed me to quickly weave through the various security nets, while the mask hides my identity from the video recording magic setup everywhere. Finally, the catwalk shoes block any signs of my infiltration. It was a cost-effective combination of stealth and speed. With this, I was able to evade many of the security in the academy. Having points is nice. Just by using only a few hundred points, I quickly infiltrated the supply room which normally take days of preparation. In terms of performance, it could compare to an assassin's class stealth skill. The only flaw it had is that it disappears after usage. Still, it's a big advantage to be able to access all kinds of items. Items that cost more than a few thousand points could even turn a disaster around. We're exhaling. I climbed out of a window and jumped down in a half-exhausted state. The haste potion temporarily gave me some speed, however, my stamina is still hot for trash. Even a simple exercise like this was hard, I'm dying thinking so. I rummaged through my pockets, I happened to have the right thing for a situation like this, rejuvenating biscuits as item. Consumable price. This is, is your body tired? Recover your stamina with these biscuits. Peanut flavor, pieces per bag. Remaining points. Oops, the description had a weird advertising tone, but it is a legit product. I have been taking advantage of its effects. I feel my body getting energized as I munch down on the biscuits. At the same time, I scanned the piled up things around. What I was looking for was quickly found. Right, I could see a palm sized incense burner, which was small for a ceremonial item, but that's why it stands out. In the supply room has a bunch of items that are often not properly organized. With a huff, I pulled out the incense burner embedded in the bottom of the pile that had almost reached the ceiling. Divine's Ultima, a thousand-year-old incense burner said to contain ancient power, however, compared to such a grandiose description, it only had one simple function. It is, so to speak, a phone. Specifically, the receiver is quite formidable. Secured the most important thing you turned my gaze to look for something extra to take. Originally, all kinds of rare items are needed to activate this. But where am I? This is the player's official rare item farm. It's not that difficult to obtain them here. I grabbed the necessary items one by one and put them in my arms. Powder made by grinding the horn of a unicorn for fuel. A phoenix feather to ignite it. A coral fan to control the flame however. I can't take too much. Otherwise it'll be biting me in the future. Taking these few things I picked should be fine. Oops. Engrossed in my selection. The things piled up on top collapsed. But it didn't really matter since it wasn't loud. T at least. That's what I thought. Until a person buried among the collapsing items appeared. I unwittingly caught them who were descending directly towards me. I did so because I had a hunch that if I let them hit the floor. There would be a bigger commotion however. As soon as I saw the person's face, I immediately regretted everything. A small girl is soundly sleeping, while clutching a chain sword. She looked like a kitten, but from my point of view, as soon as I confirmed her identity, goosebumps immediately ran through my body. Seriously, who could imagine that this peacefully sleeping little girl is a human butcher that has reaped lives? Numbering triple digits, um, and unfortunately for me, it seems that I woke her up. The little girl stretched herself in my arms, hair. Oh, and as she stretched out her arms, her yawns gradually subsided, sensing something strange. Her yellow eyes stared blankly at the surroundings, and soon, 
Our eyes meet. Let's put her down. I held the girl with both hands and made her stand. For a few seconds, we were just silently staring into each other's eyes. Then finally, the girl realizes that she has been held by a man she has never seen before. Her immediate lightning-like reaction was grabbing the handle of the sword she was clutching. A moment of danger has been detected, determined the situation as life-threatening, skill. Desperation raised to its class. Yep, in fact, there are many reasons why a character is classified as evil in Sarah, but one of the criteria for classification is comma. To put it simply, it's the number of kills, depending on how many people you killed, your affinity would lean more towards the bad side, in that context, one's karma could easily get corrupted, hence the devil, a key villain throughout the entire scenario, usually approaches people with high karma first, and a person who is at the extreme of such system is currently right in front of me, she's normally not harmful, unless you get close, what happens when you get close? Well. Let's just say that this person's karma dunks on Elnor, who is known to kill people, with an overwhelming number. The one who killed the most people in this academy right now is this little girl. And looking at the sword flying towards me, I can fully understand how that was possible. The main character Elijah couldn't even react to the X-class desperation and was blown away in a single punch. And yet, now... I could only react to the trajectory of Yuria's sword, realizing that it's a true life or death situation, my concentration heightened to the point where the world seems to have slowed down.